We've been brewing for roughly five years now. Um, starting out in Jim's basement, his wife quickly moved us to the garage and then decided to move us to Pete's garage. Actually, it wasn't her decision. We went from Jim's one-car garage to two, Pete's two-car garage about th three years ago. It's fun and friendship to start with because it um, wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't fun. But it's also about kind of, of the, the tough stuff. I mean, the Fulton Garage, you know, necessarily took itself to the commercial side and getting up early and, and taking off to go to Sand Creek. Um, it's not as fun as, as brewing on Saturday afternoons when it's nice up, but it's still stuff to remember. Uh, I'd have to say the first successful recipe we had was uh, a double IPA that we brewed when we were still in Jim's uh, garage. And uh, yeah, we made a little hop tea on the stove inside, did our main boil in the garage, and uh, fermented it out, and we brought it up uh, to Jim's cabin on the North Shore and uh, drank it up there, and it turned out fantastic. I remember Ryan got there late, and I came running out to his car with a glass of beer in my hand. I'm like, try it, it's awesome! <laughs> I think that was one of those times that we, we, for the first couple times, we were like, that's why we have to be able to make it again. Like, we want that beer, not something like yeah. it, that one. No, we weren't thinking about selling it then. Well, we always, you know, it's always, this is good enough to sell, you know, you always say that. We weren't really considering that until um, spring of 09, I guess it was. Is that right? But we were having this, like, very drawn out conversation of, like, do we really want to do this? I mean, what would it be? We don't even know what it would be, but should we? I've been really excited for this beer, for Libertine to come out uh, in the fall because I'm really excited to drink it while sitting around a campfire wearing a flannel when it's like, you know, like 50 degrees out. Like that's going to be perfect. The blonde, nice hot patio, downtown Minneapolis somewhere when it's 85 and sunny, blonde comes out nice and cold, perfect. The IPA, out of a glass. You know, it's not trying to hit a market. It's about beers that we want to make, that we're sitting there and we're saying, okay, in two and a half weeks, we want to be drinking uh, the, the Liberty. We're going to make that. Out of that, I think a lot of our beers, and correct me if I'm wrong, are, are really approachable. They're not something that you have to develop a taste for. I mean, it's, it's just good, drinkable, sessionable beer. Don't worry, drink first. That's, that's, that's what I do. Ask questions later.